Hello! ROS2, the latest version of ROS, is quickly becoming the standard for developing robotics applications. In this video, I will quickly compare the three main interfaces of ROS, namely topics, services and actions, and will give you some hints about when to use each. Ok, as usual, I will be using the platform from the Construct. You can create an account for free by going to theconstructsim.com. Um, I already have my account, so I will log in. And here I created a ROSject to show you some examples. Let's wait a second until it loads. All right, so let me quickly um, build my workspace to have a fresh start and um, source, source it as usual. And then I will start a simulation so that I can show you graphically um, when I execute a, or when I run a topic, a service and an action. You can have a copy of this ROSject by um, clicking on the description of this video. So let's first talk a little bit about topic. Topics are a channel of communication between a publisher node and a subscriber node. So here I have a robot, this white square here, and in simulation, and I will publish a, a command to move the robot. This is um, actually I'm creating a publisher from the command line and this publisher is sending a command to, to move the robot. Um, an example of a subscriber, I will subscribe to the odometry topic the, this robot publishes and um, you will see on the screen the data that is coming from from the robot odometry so it's refreshing very quickly um, so yeah let me just stop it um, And now I will publish a different uh, command to the um, command velocity topic so that the robot stops moving. Oh, it's a typo in there. All right, the robot has stopped. So when do I use, uh, when should I use a topic? Topics are good for one-way communication. When you're just pushing data and um, when you need to react quickly um, or when you need frequent updates or real-time communication, like many, many times a second you need um, updates, what's going on. In this case, um, what's the odometry many times a second, or if you need to change the velocity of the robot, like turning, uh, accelerating, decelerating, you would use a topic. It's also for continuous flow of data, and topics can be used for one too many and many too many 
um, communication between nodes, meaning you can have many subscribers to one publisher or you can have many publishers to one node and, and also many subscribers. So what are services? Services are, are connections between service clients and service servers. Let me just um, execute. You, you have to have a server server service server running um, always if you want to use a service and then uh, you have this uh, client which um, sends a request to the server let me just do something different um, I will call this an example too. You see a client that um, when I execute this client call, I will reset the simulation to the original um, as it was when, when it originally started. So the robot is here on the top, now the robot is here on the bottom. On a service, you have a service request and a service response. Here you see the response. So it's quick. Um, it executes the request and it gets the response and it's finished. That's it. So my first example was about um, I have this service um, running and on the background here and if I execute a call to the service which is just called moving that's the name it could be anything um, it executes one command uh, and the robot starts moving in circles in this example so I execute this, this call it's a request I got the response and that's it and the robot will continuously move and um, there's nothing with the service that I could do about it. Um, it it's finished. So now to, to stop the robot I will just um, send a, uh, I will use a topic, a publisher just as before to, to send a velocity command of zero. So when should I use a service? When the number of data requests are small, meaning every now and then, and um, when the communication is quickly. So you send a request and the response is quick and there's not much time in between. And when you want to retrieve data and this data, you don't need a frequent update, just give me the data and and then you process it and you don't need a frequent update. So the third type of interface is action. Actions also require an action client and an actual server. Here I, um, in this case and in the case of the, the service, um, Service servers and action servers are written, uh, in this case, I've writ uh, it's written in Python. So it's a program executing in the background. I um, so let me execute this action server. It's running now. And um, similar to the um, service um there's a call and um when i execute this call it uh, will the robot would start moving the difference now is that i can call cancel it so the robot is moving i press ctrl c the goal is cancelled and the robots stopped moving so that's one one difference of an action. So when when you should use an action, 
when this um, a process that takes several seconds to complete. Like in this example, you want the robot to move to a certain goal. It will take many seconds, and um, you can also um, get feedback from an action while it's executing. So you also use it for background processing of longer tasks and you use it for operations that might be terminated or cancelled. Like I just show, I can cancel an action while it's executing. And um, when you need this type of functionality, you would um, prefer an action over a service. So that's it for today's video. Let me go back here to the main screen and show you the some of the courses that um, the construct has. Um, ROS2 basics in five days, ROS2 basics in five days um, in C++ or in Python are two examples where you will learn basics such as services, topics and actions. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and see you on the next video. Bye.